Welcome back to Nothing But Gold. I am AU79. Hello and welcome back. In this short video, I will be treating rinse water from my AP process. I'm not treating acid peroxide. I'm treating the rinse water from my acid peroxide process. To be clear, the rinse water is the water that I've accumulated as I'm spraying the boards to remove any lingering gold traces. The rinse water will fall into a bucket along with some of the residual gold traces and it's that water that I'm treating in this video. I expect it only to have dissolved copper in it. The rinse water from my AP process was first checked for any dissolved gold using fresh stannous chloride solution on a test strip. I wouldn't expect it would have any dissolved gold in it because I used very little hydrogen peroxide. No gold should have been dissolved, and the stannous chloride test proved that. The next test I performed was a simple pH test using test strips. I dipped it in the solution, swirled it around for two seconds, and came up with a pH probably between zero and one, which is very acidic, but it's not acidic as much as HCl because a lot of the liquid in this rinse water is in fact just water. It will take very little alkaline solution to neutralize it to a pH of seven. When I begin neutralizing the rinse water, I will use this Clorox pool pH up. It's a higher alkaline, higher base than the regular baking soda. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate and this pool pH up is sodium carbonate. I generally use this to neutralize my rinse water. It's a little stronger than this. It actually, I find it less reactive. When I use baking soda, it tends to foam up and rise. When I use this pool pH, it tends not to. So we will be neutralizing the rinse water with pool pH only after we cement out the dissolved copper in the solution. I will show you that now. In this bucket, I have my rinse water bubbling with three pieces of iron to serve as a vehicle to cement the copper out of solution. It will put the iron in solution and the copper will come out and fall to the bottom in the form of a metallic copper. I keep an air bubbler in this bucket of rinse liquid to circulate the liquid around the iron bars to allow fresh iron to be exposed to the liquid. This will enhance the cementation of the dissolved copper into metallic copper, which will fall to the bottom. Since the runoff of the circuit boards was purely copper and maybe some nickel, this liquid will only have dissolved copper and perhaps some dissolved nickel in it. I will shut the bubbler off and bring the camera closer to the action. This is a great example of cementation where one metal goes into solution and displaces a different metal out of solution. Iron is more reactive than copper, therefore Iron will go into solution and knock the copper out of solution. This is the dissolved copper from my rinse solution of my acid peroxide. I will now start adding some pool pH up little by little 
to neutralize the pH from zero to seven. Notice it's only half full of the bucket and I'm ready for any kind of bubble up reaction as well as this lower pan to catch any reaction. But I'm pretty certain it won't happen because we do everything slowly at nothing but gold. I will now begin to neutralize the pH from zero to seven in several small steps. Once the fizz settles down, I will stir it and wait a few moments and do it again. And I can tell when the pH changes. It's almost a sudden change. It goes from maybe zero and one, and then it goes right to six. I've never really seen any intermediate steps of four and five. It's probably not a bad idea to treat the iron that went into solution to knock the copper out of solution. There's a way to do that. Um, and you can look that up online, but there's very little iron in this solution, so I've skipped that step. I'm going to do one final pH test, and then this liquid be, will be ready for disposal. And here are all three pH tests. The left one was the rinse from the acid peroxide process. The middle one is the pH from adding some of the pool up, sodium carbonate, and the right test strip represents the final pH, which is about six or seven after adding more sodium carbonate. Thank you for watching.